Hi there, welcome back to Headbangers Ball and we're out on the road for the first time in 97. The remainder of tonight's show is coming to you from Belgium and we're hooking up with Gravity Kills and uh, they are supporting Skunk and Nancy on their European tour. So I'm very pleased to welcome Jeff and Doug down to the show. Of course, uh, Gravity Kills, big news in America, just beginning to crack in Europe. So I was just wondering, um, just to start off with how you're enjoying the challenge of playing a new territory. Oh, so far so good, but it's sort of like starting from scratch, you know, going out in front of audiences that maybe one or two people maybe have heard of you mm -hmm. and uh, trying to win over audiences every night. But it's a good challenge, makes us a better band and, uh, you know, it's, we could take something with us each night, sort of keep turning the show up and turning the show up and learning. And we're still learning, so it's nice to know after, you know, 200 and, you know, 30 or 40 shows as a band that we're still able to learn and still turn the show up. Because you had such um, overnight success in America that I would imagine that it is quite nice to come back to kind of this kind of situation where there is a huge challenge and you have to kind of make an extra effort to win everybody over. Well, we're just happy that people are actually here whenever we're playing instead of playing in front of, you know, say 25 or 50 people at the venues, you know. Yeah, like our first tour in the States, we were a support act and we were supporting a band that, you know, we were, we were literally playing for like, you know, a good crowd would be 100 people every night. So... You know, we're really fortunate to be on such a, a nice tour with a band that's uh, really doing well. Great. Well, I just want to sort of go back to the beginning of Gravity Kills, because you are a new band to us here in Europe, and you had quite an unusual history, the way that you all came together and how it all started for you. Could you explain a little bit about um, what happened? Yeah, sure. Um, Doug and Matt and Kurt, uh, they've been playing in bands for a long time in St. Louis, and they were getting to get together to put uh, a song on a local radio compilation CD there and had been working with various singers over the years and they had about a week before a deadline and they came down to a Wednesday night before the Friday deadline and they didn't have a singer yet. Kurt and I are cousins so I've been playing, I'd been playing in bands in Dallas, Texas for about 10 years and, and uh, they knew that we, I was hanging out so they gave me a call on a Wednesday night and I flew up on Thursday, um, heard the track for the first time, it was a song, it was music to a song that became Guilty and uh, uh, Doug and uh, and I, we really worked on the vocals for about six hours, got the song done. Wow. <laughs> Doug stayed up the rest of the night and mixed the song down, and they turned it in about a half hour before the deadline. Wow. We got on the CD, so we figured, hey... Uh, and we're like, oh no. Yeah, I guess we're a band. Uh, we, should, we should probably do an album now before people get mad that we only did one song. And so we, you know, with the whole intention of, well, we'll finish an album, then we'll go on tour and maybe try to solicit some some labels and uh, we got three songs into it and all of a sudden like labels started flying in mm -hmm. and then we're, we're like oh no you know we'd never played out live or taken any photographs and we're like slow down yeah. you know <laughs> we only have three songs. the other way around for most bands right. but weird yeah and, yeah. Uh, and had been in bands for years we're just you know beating our heads against the wall never could get a break and then the next thing we know we're getting um, you know we're getting a break before we were ready for it mm -hmm. and uh, it, was, it was it was fun because we were actually we were actually on two major motion picture soundtracks before we were actually officially signed wow. in the states because of, of everything. So it was like, you know, it was, our heads were spinning off. Things were happening so fast. Okay, well we'll uh, bring everybody right up to date with Gravity Kills when we talk again. But right now we're going to check out the excellent debut video from the band um, from their self-titled debut album and also to be found on the soundtrack to the film Seven. I think I'm right in saying. We're going to check out Guilty and talk to the guys some more after this. 